Welcome to Istro. This video will discuss our modular ice maker sequence of operation. Istro has manufactured and sold more than 700,000 ice makers since 2000. Our equipment reliability has been proven in over 80 nations across the globe and operates in some of the world's most difficult environments. We are recognized for simplicity, reliability, and performance. All Istro ice makers are run for three cycles prior to shipment. AHRI testing conditions are used with water temperature at 70 degrees, air temperature at 90 degrees. Voltage and amperage is recorded, and ice batch is weighed. If the machine does not pass inspection and specifications, it is pulled out of production. When checking the modular sequence of operation, it is a good idea to ensure the installation is done correctly. Always check the ice machine's bin and ice making chamber to ensure it is sanitary and not scaling up. Is the unit level? Has the correct line size been used for both water and drains? Is there enough ventilation? Has a water filter been installed? We recommend our exclusive Citrine Eco Ice Filtration. An installation user manual is provided with each machine. A sequence of operation label is provided inside the machine. The machine cycle and operation is managed by the control board. Note, this board also provides a safety fuse to protect the machine from voltage spikes. You will notice on the front of our ice maker there is a small panel with indicator lights. The lights will illuminate depending upon the machine's operation. Powering on will light the green LED. Full ice spin will light the yellow LED. Harvest error or ice probe sensing error flashes the green LED three times. An improper harvest will flash the yellow LED. If the pressure switch does not close, it will flash the green LED with the red LED on. If the pressure switch opens three times, it will flash the green and red LEDs. Let's start the sequence of operation. Turn the power switch on to the machine. The control board will show a red light on, which confirms the board has power to it. Then, turn the ice off clean switch to the ice position. The drain valve will open and water pump will turn on. The control board relay for each component is clearly marked and when it operates, we'll have a light turn next to the marked relay. The machine's first flush lasts about 26 seconds. When the machine first starts, the first cycle will take a little longer. This is due to refreshing the water sump with fresh water. Then, the hot gas solenoid is energized to equalize pressure. The machine will then start the free cycle. The water pump is now pumping water across the evaporator and the condenser fan motor is operating. A fan cycling switch can cycle the fan motor on and off to maintain the most efficient and productive conditions. The free cycle will take about 9.5 to 10 minutes and can vary depending on ambient conditions. Note, the lights have now turned on for the pump, fan motor, and compressor next to the board relays. The machine will remain in the free cycle until the ice thickness control senses water for 7 continuous seconds when it will initiate harvest. The machine stays in harvest until the ice clears the evaporator, falls into the bin, and causes the curtain switch to open and close. If the bin level is sufficiently high that ice is trapped between curtain and evaporator, machine stops operation and full lamp on front of machine is lit. The compressor continues to operate throughout the entire cycle and never shuts down until the bin fills and the water curtain shuts down the machine. If the bin is not full, the ice cycle simply keeps repeating itself. 